alive and alert on the north side of the dirt. It is your man, D-Real, coming at you with another B-Real with D-Real, where entertainment is what I do. Pretty cool, huh? Um, Hey, uh, it's Friday. Hope y'all having a good one. Um, I'm trying to make it better. <laughs> um, Lewis Berry, one of the people who rocks with me. What up, Lewis Berry? Um, he is, he's good for asking questions. Uh, and and he asked, um, what do I think of the trailer for Shazam, Fury of the Gods? Um, it's interesting. Uh, it's got some star power. It's got some nice special effects. And it's a DC EU movie. What do I mean by that? Well, I'll tell you in a second here. But before I do, I need y'all to do what you always do for me. Comment, like, subscribe, and share the Be Real with D-Real page so that when new material comes out, you get it. If you're digging what a brother shoveling, put some dirt in my bucket. Comment, like, subscribe, and share the page. Okay? We're going to do something different here, y'all. Um, I'm going to give you the preview, and uh, I'm going to give you a, a, a blow by blow you know, as it unravels for me. So it's something different, right? Right. Here we go. All right. Here we go. We got Miss Lucy Liu as one of the daughters of Atlas. And she is oh, the lovely and talented Helen Mirren. Did I say lovely and talented? She is for an old gal. Um, chaos, havoc, problems, issues. And she's am. So... Here's Helen Mirren not happy. And that's what happens when you make Helen Mirren mad. There we see a little more going on. More havoc, more problems, more chaos, more issues, more stuff going on. Lots of stuff going on. And it looks like Billy going to be taking on a dolo. Ultimately. And that's parts of the trailer um, of Shazam Fury of the God. I like Shazam as a character. I always have. I've always liked Shazam as a character. Uh, Captain Marvel, that we can't call him for legal purposes. <laughs> but Shazam's always been a great character. I enjoyed the first movie. It was one of the better movies that the DCEU put out, but I think because of that detached, um, unorganized style that DC's currently kicking, it will not serve to enhance their current situation. What you mean by that, d -real? Well, what I mean is this, okay? You got Black Adam. You got Shazam. You got Shazam, Fury of the God. But you don't got no Black Adam. Shouldn't, at some point, Black Adam and Shazam meet up? Nah, apparently that's not going to happen. So now you got a convoluted universe with some situations that aren't going to get resolved. And now you're bringing me this kind of piecemeal sort of a story saying, here, the daughters of Atlas are mad because you guys are using Atlas's power and, 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 and it's taxing them. Okay. Um. The fact that Helen Mirren is in the movie, I think, is an excellent thing because she is a fantastic actress. Um, and I think I've enjoyed her in just about everything I've ever seen her in. Um, Lucy Liu, a good actress. I haven't seen Lucy Liu in a long time, and, and it's a pleasant surprise. And, of course, we got uh, Zachary Levy as, as, as Shazam again. And then Shimon Hansu is returning as the wizard Shazam. So I guess he did die in the last movie. 
okay, that works. Um, but like I said, the 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 DCEU is currently going in too many different directions right now to make a semblance of sense. I mean, I can ask three questions and it's just like, you don't have that kind of convolution, convoluted continuity <laughs> anyplace else. Um, is Bat Pat, Rob Pattinson Batman, is that part of the DCEU or is that just some standalone stuff because don't nobody know where to put them? Okay. Are you going to get a new Black Adam to play back at him? Or are we just saying, I think what they were saying was, we quit. After this movie, we're going to jumpstart, or after this run, we're going to jumpstart the DCEU. So that means you're going to get the Shazam movie. You're going to get an um, Flash movie, and you're going to get an Aquaman movie. And then from that point moving forward, you're going to get a whole different universe. Whole different DC universe, which I think is a good thing. But as far as Shazam, I don't think this movie's going to do the numbers that they think it's going to do. I, I don't know what the budget numbers are, but I know this is the 11th, no, 12th, 12th movie in the DCEU. And there will be footage of uh, Justice League and Aquaman shown in this movie. So we know it's a connected universe. Not very well connected, but it's a connected universe. Um, like I said, I do not think Shazam Fury of the Gods is going to do the numbers that people are expecting it to do. Uh, it's I, It's got to have like a $200 million budget, at least based on what we saw in the effects. Um, so that means the movie's going to have to make at least, you know, count marketing, as we've discovered from this process. Uh, if it costs $200 million to make, it needs to make at least double to triple that to turn a profit. So that's 700, 800 million, somewhere in that range for it to be considered a successful venture i don't know i'll be impressed i'm not i'm not i'm not being a downer but it's just my opinion that this movie is not going to do the anticipated numbers that's that's where i'm at with with shazam fury of the gods what do y'all think about shazam Fury of the Gods. Do you think it's going to be a smash hit of the spring? Drop it in the comments. And as always, I will be coming at y'all with another one of the mother ones. And until I do, you, y'all be good. Be good to each other.